On Monday, the Roman Catholic community, friends and loved ones bid their last farewell to trade unionists and former Deputy Labour Commissioner Deacon Winston Andrew Taylor, former Prime Minister and friend of the late ordained minister Michael Pilgrim spoke on behalf of his contemporaries. He says that although Winston had a quiet and unassuming disposition, he was very upright, frank and caring. He can be very curious at times, especially when he became conscious of strange behaviors. But he is bold enough to point out the deficiencies in one's personality traits. Winston has the personality and the temperament of the late Sir Winston Churchill. And it so happened that both of them were born in the same month. Winston takes pride in whatever he does. And I must also say without doubt and with total and absolute confidence that he was a Roman Catholic fundamentalist. One of the grandchildren of the late Deacon Taylor says he always pushed them to reach their full potential. Papa was a loving and caring grandfather who went above and beyond to nurture and guide his grandchildren, pushing us to reach for the stars. He never compromised his principles and instilled in us a sense of discipline and respect for others, especially our elders and those in authority. He taught us the importance of family, particularly during the toughest times, as they are the ones who will always be by our side. His lessons of perseverance and pursuing our dreams, no matter what they may be, are lessons we will carry throughout our lives. Deacon Taylor's daughter recalled the many hobbies he pursued during his lifetime. Over his lifetime, he reared and trained dogs. He was a beekeeper. He was a bird watcher. He was a photographer and a playwright. Of course, to master all of these hobbies also required financial commitment. And much to the chagrin of my mother, who complained about the money that my dad spent pursuing these hobbies without turning them into financial gain, he spared no expense on these pursuits. Deacon Winston Taylor worked with the trade union movement, holding the post of secretary in the Civil Service Association, as well as the post of second vice president of the same union. He also served for 20 years as a director of the Seed Slusha Employers Federation and deputy labor commissioner. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.